we're, we're here at the planetarium, we're in the dome mm -hmm. uh, with yourself, Professor Michael Burton. Um, but can you tell us a wee bit about yourself? Obviously, we were speaking there and your, your accent isn't quite our man, but you found yourself here. So I believe you've been with the planetarium here for about five years now. That's right, yes, indeed. I'm not from this part of the world, as you've, uh, as you've guessed. Uh, I have been to Ireland many times before coming here, but no, I moved to Armagh five years ago. I was in, I'm an Australian and I was uh, from Sydney, I was at a big university in Sydney, and I moved to Armagh to take up a job as the director of the Observatory and Planetarium, which is a truly amazing, truly special place. There's absolutely nowhere else like the Observatory and Planetarium uh, in Armagh. Yeah, I think it's because obviously the observatory has a, such a uh, depth of history uh, within the city. Obviously it's been here a long time, and was that one of the reasons that brought you here to Armagh? Oh yes, no, absolutely. I mean, the observatory has been continuously in use since it was founded. And you can sort of see the story of development of modern astronomy in the building, and yet it's still being actively used for science. And that's actually what makes it truly, truly special. There are other ancient observatories around, but basically they're museums now. The, the astronomers have moved out. So that connection between the science and the history and the heritage but also the planetarium, because this is the other part. Amar has this fantastic planetarium. In fact, my job was to bring the two together uh, and, and exploit the synergy between the two, because that's exactly what it is. The observatory is essentially where the modern research is done. The planetarium is where we can tell the stories of science, tell the stories of, of the research going on uh, in the observatory, and bring people in and inspire them and about the importance of science. And that's really the lead into why we're doing this show, because indeed it's telling important stories of science. Yeah. So you've mentioned, 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 mentioned the show there. Um, can you tell us a wee bit about that and just how that kind of came about that you, you ended up getting involved in that? Yes, so we have written this new planetarium show. It's called Our Place in the Cosmos. And it's been specially written for the Climate Change Convention, COP26, uh, in Glasgow. Uh, there was a call, in fact, made out by the organisers uh, some months ago about uh, ideas for use of the, the Glasgow Planetarium, which is available. And uh, I thought, well, we can do this. I mean, that's what we do in Amar. We can tell the stories of science. And what we particularly can do is we can give a cosmic perspective of the place of our planet in the universe. I mean, the conditions that have made and brought the Earth to, to be here and be a place which is habitable and can support life for eons are truly amazing and remarkable. And that's a cosmic journey, not just in the galaxy itself, but also within our own solar system and how the Earth could go in different ways. The Earth could have been like Mars or could have been like Venus. If only slightly different small changes had been made and between them. And we can tell that story in the planetarium and, and we have the ability with our digital planetarium to essentially program you, to take you on a journey through the cosmos and show you these environments, show you how if you make small changes life would be very different or not there at all, and then show you planet Earth, because that's what you can do in a planetarium. You're, you're basically, you're going into space, you're looking at our planet, and we can show it in many different guises, many different ways. And so we can use planetarium as a way of understanding our planet. And that's what's needed now. We need to understand our planet as a whole. I mean, not just a few scientists, as a whole, because we're doing things to our planet which really are not good for the planet, it's not good for life. And we have to come together to resolve these, to, uh, to fix these up, fix the problems we're causing. And if we can all see the planet from space and see what we're doing, I think we've got a greater hope of actually collectively coming together, because that's what we have to do. It's a challenge which is far greater than any individual can, can do for themselves. Yeah, and obviously that, 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 that's quite important as well, and we're seeing a lot more young people being really, really interested in, in the environment and the likes of COP26 going on and you know it's really really hitting into the, the, that younger demographic and I suppose the planetarium is perfect for that because you get kids from they are no age coming in and yes. having a look and seeing these things and that's probably what it, it's so important for. Yes it is, yes it indeed because like we, we, we're a place you can inspire, we call ourselves the place for space but you come in here you'll be inspired, you don't necessarily become an astronomer but you you, you, you open your eyes up to the world around you. And indeed, we have to do that because the, the, the problems we're facing are legion and we need many different uh, contributions to help fix it. Um, and it is the, yeah, the young generation where climate change is really going to hit. My generation, look, by uh, the time I pass away, climate change, I'll be okay. But the next generation, no, by the end of this century, if we don't change, change the way we're doing, 
this will not be a very happy place to be living, this planet, and we have to, we have to stop that. We have to make it <laughs> a place we, we can, our species can continue to, to thrive in. Yeah, yeah. And obviously it must be quite a proud moment for you, you know, for Armagh being selected or, or being chosen as you know, the team of, of, of astronomers to be putting on this show in Glasgow at this big event. Yes. And that must be quite a proud moment. Yes, no, it is, and it's very much part of the story that we've been trying to sell here in Armagh about the fact that we can tell these stories, we have this expertise here in Armagh. And also it, 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 it draws upon our own history of science because, in fact, part of the climatic record which shows that there's, there's warming happening in these islands is our Mars contribution. We've been measuring the weather here in our Mars every day since 1795. You can see the change in temperature quite clearly in our records. So we actually have a, we, we have a role to play in, in the science itself which has produced this. Even though we're astronomers, we're producing climate science and we can also look at the planet from a cosmic perspective and understand how the planet itself evolves and changes just like or comparing it to Venus and Mars and so on. So yes, we, we, this is an important part of the story we are, who we are. And it is taking place in Lamar, and people might be surprised that little Lamar has got this amazing place, but it is. It's, it's a place that's been standing on the world stage uh, ever, since it's, uh, ever since it was uh, founded back in 1790. Yeah. And we're here, we're here in the, the dome. Um, as I said, the last time I was here, there was a show by Liam Neeson was narrating it. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, how do you really come up with all those stories? Because people have definitely, I'm sure, you know, many kids and families through the years have, have passed through here and have watched the shows here. How do you sit down and actually come up with, with what the idea is behind the next one? Uh, well, well, this is actually the first sh big show that we've written to, and to take out. Indeed, many of the shows you come in, that they've been made, made elsewhere and we put them in the, in the dome. We do have the, our, our presenter-led shows, which are basically our, our, our star journeys. Uh, and and they, they're our daily shows. But coming up with a new show, which is essentially can take up to another planetarium, that's actually new for us. We haven't done that before. And yes, it does give us other ideas. And I guess as an astronomer, I will tell some of these stories from a slightly different perspective uh, than, than the other shows out there. I, I will definitely be telling the story from the scientific perspective, and uh, the words I will use will be very carefully grounded uh, in trying to do the science. Sometimes shows can be a little bit too sensational, and, uh, but, but you've got to actually understand the science. But the visuals you can get in the modern planetarium, the immersive experience you've got under the dome, is a truly special one, and, uh, and, and you can't but come into, a, into any, any planetarium and, and go away inspired. It's just the nature of, of the environment that you're in. Yeah, yeah. And so you're up, so you're up in November to go and show this. Um, it's going to be, is it once daily, twice yes, a Yes, it's going to be one or two times daily, basically through the first two weeks of November in the, in the, in the main dome in Glasgow, which is in the green zone, so it's part of, the, part of COP26. And yes, I'm going to be there to introduce it and to take questions and, and also to see what conversations it, it might inspire and understanding and, and so on, and also to explain what's in the show, because of course making the show itself has been all sorts of... You can't, you have to make compromises. I'm telling the story of the cosmos in 18 and a half minutes, and uh, that's, that's uh, I had to be quite concise about some of the things I, I've said uh, in, in that story. No, that, thank you very much for, for taking the time out to, to chat to us, and I hope it all goes well for you as well. Okay, thank you very much, and yeah, no, we're looking forward to it. And we hope some people come and see it here, because we're going to be doing parallel shows here in Armagh as well. That's very much part of it. We're going to be running events over that whole period of time here in Armagh.